an introduction to the Poisson distribution. The picture here shows a supermarket checkout. Currently there are no customers queued. An event here is defined as one person queuing by themselves. So long as people arrive randomly to the checkout, independently of each other, and at a constant average rate, so let's say one customer arrives every two minutes to this particular checkout, then a Poisson model may be suitable to model the number of customers who are queued at this particular checkout. If groups of customers who are shopping together turned up at the checkout together, which is what typically happens, then these two customers who are shopping together have not arrived at the checkout independently of each other. So now a Poisson distribution would be inadequate for modelling the number of customers who are, who are queued at this checkout. So events must occur independently of each other, they must occur randomly and at a constant average rate lambda. This is the parameter of the Poisson distribution. It is the constant average rate at which something occurs in either space or time. Space could be, for example, the number of um, uh, typing mistakes per page typed. Or space could be the number of flowers found per meter square of a garden bed. Events occurring in time could be the number of vehicles passing a particular point on a road in a five minute interval. Another thing to take into consideration is that the Poisson distribution has no upper limit. So for example a car service centre which stocks tyres and exhausts batteries and so on, if uh, you were modelling the number of batteries sold per day, you may find that the number of batteries sold is limited to what's in stock, so you have an upper limit in that situation and a Poisson model may not be totally suitable. In this situation here, X, which represents the number of events that occur can be modelled by a Poisson distribution, that's capital P, small o, and this number here in the brackets is the value of lambda, because for a Poisson distribution we can write the distribution uh, simplified and summarised like this, where lambda is the constant average rate at which something occurs. So X, which represents the uh, number of events that occur, could be 0, so no event occurs. X could take a value of 1, 2, 3, etc. There's no upper limit. Calculating probabilities. The discrete random variable X follows a Poisson distribution where lambda is 5. So we go to the formula book we have the cumulative Poisson tables. The value of lambda is across the top row here. So that's one table. Here's another table. These are the values of lambda along the top here. Going on to the next page, and you've got further values of lambda here. 
and 15 is the highest value that's in the tables. If these are all values of x and these probabilities are cumulative. So for instance, this probability here is for less than or equal to 8. This one here is for less than or equal to 12. Coming back to our Poisson distribution here, we have a lambda value that's equal to 5. So going to the tables, we're looking for a lambda value that's equal to 5. Here we are. So let's say a question says, what's the probability that x is less than or equal to 4? Going to the tables, lambda is 5, less than or equal to 4, 0 0.4405. And as you can see, the Poisson distribution is very similar to the binomial distribution in the way you go to the uh, tables and you look at probabilities because they are both discrete distributions so there are some similarities in the way you um, uh, approach and solve problems. The probability that x is more than or equal to 5 is equal to now more than or equal to probabilities are not directly in the tables but you can rewrite this question as 1 minus less than or equal to 4 which gives you 1 minus 0 0.4405 which gives you 1 minus 0 0.4405 which is 0 0.5595 the probability that x is equal to 7 is the probability that x is less than or equal to 7 minus the probability x is less than or equal to 6 less than or equal to 7 0 0.8666 minus less than or equal to 6 0 0.7622 0.1044 the probability that x is between 3 and 7 is equal to the probability that x is less than or equal to 7 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 2 and if you're wondering why it's these two probabilities that we're looking up have a look at this. These are the values that x can take. There's no upper limit. What we're looking for are all of these, starting from 3 and including the 3 all the way up to 7 and including the 7. These are the probabilities that we want. When you do this, less than or equal to 7, you've worked out everything here and then you think well I don't need all of these I don't want the 0, 1 and the 2 0, 1 and 2 so you subtract off less than or equal to 2 so looking up 7 0 0.8666 6. looking up 2 0 0.1247 and subtracting those two zero point seven four one nine so far all of these calculations have been very similar to the binomial distribution so if you've understood how to use the cumulative tables uh, for the binomial distribution in S1 then you'll find all of these um, uh, uh, methods here 
are familiar to yourselves. So what would you look up if you had the probability x is less than 6? That does not say less than or equal to. So from the tables you would go to less than or equal to 5. The probability x is more than 2. So more than 2 is the same as uh, more than or equal to 3 which means you do 1 minus less than or equal to 2. The probability that x is between 3 and 8 you look up the probability that x is more than or equal to 4 and less than or equal to 7 because this part here says x is more than 3 x is more than 3 the first number more than 3 is 4 this side says x is less than 8 so the first number less than 8 is 7 etc. OK, so we've seen the uh, basic requirements for a Poisson distribution so the events that occur have to be random they have to be uh, independent of each other they must occur at a constant average rate um, there must be no upper limit to the um, uh, number of events that occur and then you've seen all of the calculations, basic calculations to do with the Poisson distribution